I have to go uh, to the bathroom, so I'm going to keep it short. Uh, following Herb is always a tough task, but I'll give him my best shot. Um, a few months ago, I was talking to Alan, and he's like, I don't really want you to speak at my wedding, but you're the only brother I have. So, uh, here we are. Uh, for those of you that do not know me, my name is Aaron, uh, and I'm today's best brother. I decided to enter the best brother sweepstakes instead of the best main sweepstakes because there is less competition. <laughs> Alan, I am honored to be part of this small army that you call a wedding party. That's the biggest table I've ever seen. Especially awesome that we're here today, considering Alan had kidney stones only a few days ago. Uh, for a short period of time, there Alan was in quite a bit of pain, and uh, looked as today might not even happen. Um, there was always a part of me, however, that knew the wedding was going to happen. I knew Alan would not let anything get in the way of him marrying Michelle. That and the fact that we are a Dutch family and everything had been paid for. <laughs> So, uh, let me tell you a bit about my relationship with, uh, Alan. We met in the 80s. Back in a time when spam was simply canned meat. Uh, at first I think Alan respected me because he would do courteous things for me, including give me the top bunk. Uh, within a few short years, however, our brotherly rivalry intensified. And Alan was already bigger than me. Uh, if you look at old family photos, such as the one at table three, you guys can check it out after. Um, Alan kind of looked like a child bodybuilder. And uh, I looked like Janet never fed me. Even to this day, she's always like, Alan needs his protein, Alan needs his protein. So we just starve, I guess. Because of Alan's physique, I avoided getting into physical confrontations with him. Instead, I tried to outsmart him. My uh, favorite tactic was giving him hard objects such as marbles, and then standing in front of glass objects such as mirrors, windows, and pictures. I would then insult him. And he, being kind of like a large dog, not knowing his own strength, would hurl the marble at me. I would duck, the glass would break. I would love every second of it. As the years went on though, I thought the rivalry was dying down and a possible friendship was beginning. I guess I was mistaken though. I received an email from Alan on my birthday one year. It said, Happy birthday. Mom made me send this. <laughs> Many younger brothers learn from their older brothers. With Alan and I, it's the other way around. But enough about Alan and his Nobel Peace Prizes. <laughs> Today, Alan is a married man. Today is about Alan and the love of his life. His MacBook Pro. <laughs> In life, there are people that procrastinate and leave everything to the last minute, like myself in this speech. Uh, and then there's Alan. You can look no further than the planning that went on for today. He actually had his wedding website up and running even before he met Michelle. <laughs> I'll never forget the day Alan got engaged. Partly because he videotaped his proposal, he's a bit of a creep. <laughs> and partly because he called me that day, and Alan never calls me. When he calls, you know it's about something important. As soon as I picked up the phone, I could hear in his voice, I've never heard Alan sound happier than he ever had before. 
I always tease him about how he shows off his engineering ring on his pinky finger. Um, I can safely say though today Alan is much more proud of his new ring and even more proud to show off his new wife. Oh. <laughs> Michelle, ever since we met you, we knew you were a keeper. I in particular liked you from the start because you always laugh at my jokes, even though Alan would just shake his head and call me an idiot. <laughs> You are beautiful inside and out, kind, compassionate, genuine, smart, caring, and most importantly, you make my brother happy in a way that I never could. <laughs> Alan and Michelle, I wish you two all the best in your life together. I love you both. Mom made me say that. <laughs> 